Hey, so when you want to get to know someone, do you ask for like their sign or what their favorite movie is? No, I ask about their poop. Oh. Hey guys, Julie here with special guest Gabby Dunn. Excited to talk poop. You can tell a lot about a person just by looking at their poop. Seriously, from color to consistency, your poop tells a story. Brown and green are both within the realm of normal healthy poo. Even if you're eating that black Halloween burger that turns your dung green, still healthy and spooky. That brown color your poo normally is actually comes from your blood cells. Poop isn't just the waste from the food you eat, it's some of your body's waste too. So bacteria cells are used up body stuff like blood cells find their way into the intestinal tract. The blood cells break down into a substance called bilirubin, which interacts with waste called bile from the liver to give your poo its beautiful brown hue. If it's lighter, like a clay color, you could have liver or gallbladder issues. A tarry black color might indicate GI bleeding somewhere. And any red is a big old warning sign saying you should be checked out by a doctor because you're bleeding somewhere along the digestive tract. And if your poop is blue, Snapchat that because that is awesome. Texture, well that's a whole different story. You have any questions about your poop? Get the scoop on your stool by checking out the Bristol stool chart created by Dr. Ken Heaton at the University of Bristol and was first published in the Scandinavian Journal of Gastroenterology in 1997. Heavily poops means you're probably constipated and aren't getting enough fiber or water in your diet. Liquidy running poo can mean lots of different things, but most of it isn't good. According to the National Institutes of Health, diarrhea can mean infection from a parasite or virus. It can also mean a food allergy or other similar health problems. According to the Bristol stool chart, your ideal poop should be a nice smooth sausage shape. Sometimes these sausages have cracks in them, but that's still within the range of normal. Doctors use stool samples to diagnose a variety of conditions. When examining your excrement, they look at shape, size, consistency, even smell. They might look at the enzymes trypsin or elastase to see how well your pancreas is doing. Or they might look for the presence of bacteria or viruses in case that's the cause of your intestinal distress. They also might check for fat content to see how well your body is absorbing the nutrients it needs. And now with advances in the field of the microbiome, scientists can learn all about your internal ecosystem just by looking at your poop. So scientists can learn a lot from your poop. Duke University biologist Jenny Tung said that poop contains a gold mine of data. And not just your poop, animal poop too. When researchers from Duke University studied baboons in the field in Kenya, they had a bit of a problem. They needed to get health information like sex and parentage, but couldn't get a blood sample. I mean, it's hard to track down the old world monkey, and it's more than a hassle to dart them and draw out blood. It's a mess for everyone. So instead, researchers in the 90s figured out a way to get DNA from the messes baboons leave behind. Yep, that's right. Scientists collected baboon feces and urine. My dream job. That way, they could know who sired who. But even more than just figuring out the family tree, researchers can extract hormone breakdown products from the excrement. They can tell when a female baboon was grieving the loss of another female friend based on the levels of stress hormone cortisol in her stool. And in a recent study published in the journal PLOS One, researchers used a similar technique to test the levels of hormones in hyenas. Researchers from Leibniz Institute of Zoo and Wildlife Research and the University of Pretoria used an antibody-based enzyme immunoassay of their poop to tell their testosterone levels. Which can tell the story of the hyena's age, social status, and reproductive information. Social status? So poop is like likes on Facebook. Even prehistoric animal dung can tell us a lot. Jim Mead, a researcher at Northern Arizona University, collects prehistoric poop as part of his job. Poop is perfect for carbon dating, getting DNA samples, even for finding out what the climate was like thousands of years ago. He says although our research is humorous, the data from dung is nothing to laugh about. Well, Julia, this video has been a dream come poo for me. I'll show myself out. If you're interested in seeing more of me, my best friend Allison Raskin and I have a channel called Just Between Us where we don't discuss poop nearly as often as I'd like. Check it out! I think I need to break up with Eric. Okay. Hey, does one boob look bigger than the other in this picture? Yes. Dope! Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. So do you have any other weird questions about your body? Ask us down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to D News for new episodes every day of the week.